everybody. Welcome to Facebook Live. I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Nina, Wisconsin, or Nina, <laughs> Menasha, Wisconsin. Oh my Lord. I just woke up. <laughs> Hi, Linda. You're the first one popping on here. Hi, Haley. So, Jody's here. I'm excited to be here tonight. Hi, Jackie, Lisa. We had the Little Mama's baby shower today, and can I just tell you, it went off without a hitch. It was fantastic. I can't wait to share pictures with you. It was so lovely. So, hi, Terry. Hi, Angie. The names are scrolling up really fast. Hi, Jane. Welcome. Tundra's here. Happy to see you. <laughs> Haley, hi. Patty's here. So yeah, um, the baby shower was just amazing today. Can you see the flowers back here? Haley, I should have left some flowers for you. But we had to bring them home, take them out of all the things that we had them in. Um, I have to show you this. Oops, let's see if I can get it in the camera. I made these for all of our special attendees. So we had grandma-to-be. We had great-grandmas-to-be. We actually had four of them there today. We had um, the mommy-to-be and the daddy-to-be buttons, and then also um, aunties, auntie-to-be, and then Molly and Andy were both there, so we did cousins-to-be. So we had some honorary guests today, and can I just say thank you to everybody who helped put this shower together because... Like I said, I can't wait to show you the pictures. It was so pretty. Everything was so pretty. Um, the food was fantastic. We had Italian food. So we had um, a marinara sauce, a meat sauce, um, broccoli and Alfredo sauce with noodles, and then also chicken Alfredo. Um, garlic bread and salads and salad dressings. And then we had a dessert bar. And the dessert bar was um, some really cute cookies that were um, decorated with uh, woodland theme, rustic type thing, which is all Haley's um, decorating style for the baby's nursery. And um, yeah, we had a cake with some antlers on it. That was really cute. I made some mountains. Yes, I made pointy tall mountain mountains out of paper and I used our embossing paste to put the snow on the top of them. And then, oh, I have to show you this. I made these flowers. Can you see this flower and this little sprig? That's from the first frost. This is from our leaf punch. The middle of the flowers are made from our small bloom punch. That's free right now during celebration. And then the bigger petals on here were, whoa, hang on. I just flipped a punch across my laptop and it kind of smashed into it. Um, this punch right here is the bigger, <laughs> bigger part of the flowers. I hot glued them all together. And these were the centerpieces for the tables. Uh, what else did I have? Gosh, it was just, it was so much fun. Um, so much love today. Haley had a great turnout. Like almost everybody we invited came to the shower. There were some people who couldn't make it, but you know, that always happens. But um, it was just so precious. And I think she was really, really happy with um, the shower. And we had fun doing all the decorations and the tables were just adorable. Everything was so pretty. Okay. I might have to say it one more time. Everything was so pretty, but it was just really beautiful, and I was so excited. And so when we got home from the shower today, it was from 1 to 4. I don't know what time we got home, probably about 5 or 5.30. I went right to bed <laughs> because I wanted to be fresh for you guys tonight, and I knew that I was pretty exhausted. But um, super, super fun. So, see, we have a ton of people coming in here. Hi, Patty. Hi, Twyla. Mary. I see Mary's here. Welcome. Um, you know what I didn't do before I started? Oh, where is it? And I don't have it in my pocket either. Mm, my lips are dry. And, oh, I found it. Hang on. I've got some 
my Carmex got pushed way in the back. Oh, hang on just a second. I've got a handy dandy pokey tool here to help me get that out. Oh my Lord. Okay, so I don't usually do this on camera, but my lips are really dry. Hi, Lisa. So there we go, baby shower. Um, I think they got like almost everything on their registry, which is fantastic. It's so nice. We did a diaper raffle. I gave away a, I like to take box, um, photo boxes and you can actually fit 70 cards and envelopes. So I do 10 cards, 10 envelopes, 10 cards, 10 envelopes. And I put 70 cards and envelopes in a um, photo box. And that was the re that was the gift for people who brought the, um, the diaper. Everybody who brought a pack of diapers got put in a diaper raffle. And somebody just asked, what is my granddaughter's name going to be? We don't know. So, um... She's due on 420, which is some big marijuana smoke out day or something. I'm not up on all that stuff, but it's funny <laughs> because she's due on 420. They're going to name her. Her middle name is going to be Lee. We don't know what the first name is. That is being kept under tight lock and key. And um, so I've been calling her Weed Lee for the weed day. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> um but today we went over to Haley's apartment after the shower and um, Jared is Haley's husband. His mom was there and and Lori and I were both in the baby's nursery. And um, Lori was funny because she goes, we could close and lock that door right now and I'll bet we could find that name in here someplace. <laughs> Because they have a, a hoop on the wall with some greenery, and then they ordered, special ordered the baby's name, um, like uh, laser cut in a scroll print on wood. And that's going to hang in the center of this big hoop thing with the greenery on it. And so Lori was like, I bet you we could find that in this room someplace so we can find out the name, but we don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I think I shared a picture of the baby. I got to see her via ultrasound on Friday, and of course, she's absolutely adorable. She has Jared's little nose, um, and she's got a lot of hair, they said, so she might come out looking like a monkey. Sorry, Haley, but that's funny. <laughs> Can't wait. Anyway, hi, Lisa. Hi, April. Welcome, Sandy. We've got Marianne on here. So what's happening this week? I have some fantastic projects to share with you. I was so proud of myself because I was busting it this week. I mean, I was go, 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 go. Because I knew that I needed some time to get ready for the baby shower, like making all the little flower things that I did and and other stuff like that, the mountains. and um, So I knew I had to get everything done. And I had so many things going on this week. I think I had... Oh, uh, let's see. I had my tip video that I had to do on Thursday. I had the paper pumpkin blog pop, which I might as well talk to you about right now. Did you see it? This is my alternate idea. This month's kit was so adorable. We had that cake and then the little stripes you stamped right in there. Beautiful, beautiful. This was the other alternate card that I made. Let's see if I can get that in the camera good. I did um, emboss resist technique here. Yeah, aren't these pretty? And then this was my 3D item that I made. And this is actually an envelope. And I made it, it's called a bagelope. When you do this, you score it. And then it makes a little gift bag. And you could put a gift card in here. You could put a um, set of car keys. You guys know I'm always looking for a new vehicle, right? <laughs> set of car keys in here. I mean, you could put a, quite a bit. Ghirardelli candies would go in here. So, um... Yeah, somebody just said their husband was born on 420. C. <laughs> is his middle name Weed? No, probably not. Um, anyways, this this month's paper pumpkin kit uh, was really cool. Here's the ideas that Stampin' Up! included with it. Absolutely beautiful, right? And the stamp set that came in there. Look at that. Yeah, very, very pretty. Now... If you missed it, you will find my blog hop on Thursday on my blog, www.stampabub.com. And you can hop along. I think there's something like 20 different blogs, probably more than that, to hop. All 
making projects, alternate projects using these products. Next month, well, I shouldn't say next month because it's already March. How did that happen? How did it get to be March 1st already? I can't even believe it. But anyways, um, if you order Paper Pumpkin before, well, on or before March 10th, we are celebrating seven years of Paper Pumpkin in the month of March, and Stampin' Up's going to include an extra stamp set. So you're going to get two stamp sets in your kit. What could be better? It's a great time to try it out if you've never tried it. And you can order your Paper Pumpkin kit. You can go right to www.mypaperpumpkin.com. Choose me as your demonstrator if you don't have one. I always appreciate that. I will share a PDF file with you that has at least 15 different ideas, um, alternate ideas using each monthly kit. So every month I send out a PDF file that has 15 different alternate ideas. It's pretty cool. So yeah, Linda says so many pretty things in the paper pumpkin kit. There really, really are. So um, check out my blog. You'll find all that. Then on Friday, we had Totally Techniques Blog Hop, and this month we were featuring 3D, 3D punches and dies. So if you have a completely symmetrical punch or die, you can do things like this with it. And if you remember with our Snowman Builder um, punch, I did a card with that back, I think, in December. This was one of my projects. This uses the P Pleased as Punch Designer Series Paper also for the hearts and the heart punch pack. And then I use the Stitch So Sweetly dies with the um, Thanks for the Laughs stamp set. Oh, thank you guys, I see the love coming in. Um, yeah, very, very cute card. Let's see, what did I do on the inside? Oh, and then I put another punched heart. So the Pleased as Punch is part of our coordination product release. And it's some designer series paper that goes along with four different punches that we have right now. And then this was the other card that I made, and I have to show you where did Arliss's card go. Arliss sent me a Valentine card, if you'll recall. I showed this to you in January. Let me show you Arliss's card, because when you open it up, what? Yeah, isn't that cool? And when I saw it, I'm like, oh, we have to do that. So I used it for the Totally Techniques blog hop. And again, I used the, um, stamp set that's called thanks for the laughs down here it says how did i get so lucky to have a friend like you and don't you have some cards that you can make for somebody like that yeah so here's my version of arliss's pop-up card and i put the whoops 3d hearts let's see if i can get that there we go in the camera right there so yeah very cool you're gonna find all the instructions on how to make this on my blog on friday and a blog hop with my international design team from the Totally Techniques design team. And you can see all their projects that they made because they're pretty cool. As a matter of fact, these flowers that I made, I actually got this from my friend Shanine in Australia. This was her idea for the blog hop on Friday. Yeah, so that's where I that's how I made these flowers. Well, this I used extra, but she made little flowers with this, and then I thought, what can I do to make a bigger flower? Isn't that, let me see if I can get that right in there. Maybe next week I'll show you guys how to do these, because they're super duper cute. In the meantime, you will want to have a little flower punch like this. This one is free during celebration. You can get it with your $100 order, so don't forget if you're going to put in an order, you might want to get this one, because you're going to need it, and I need to remember to actually do that, so don't let me forget, okay? <laughs> okay, um, <clears throat> so that was Friday, and then today, oh my Lord, today my um, blog hop with the Stamping Society, which is another international design team, went live, and I'm trying to get it sorted out here. Oh, I've got too many tulips. We use the Timeless Tulips bundle. And that's also on my blog this morning. Look at this. Ready? Wait for it. Wait for it. What? Yeah. This is a trifold. There's a video tutorial that shows you exactly how to do this. I used the basket weave embossing folder on there and the timeless tulips bundle. Here's my envelope. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. So super, super. And then this was another one that I made. Here's the envelope. I decorated the front of that. 
And then here are, here's another card. This is Petal Pink. Oh, this one, by the way, was so saffron. This is Petal Pink. And again, with the trifold. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's on my blog as of this morning. It was a busy, busy week. And then I had to get ready for Facebook Live because I knew that I would have company here all day today. Usually on Sundays, that's what I'm doing as I'm getting ready for Facebook Lives. But I knew I wouldn't be able to do that with the baby shower that was from 1 to 4. And then the aftermath, you know, we had to get everything cleaned up. And then my mom is here. And my sister-in-law and my brother was here for a while. And so I had to get everything ready ahead of time. And I killed it. <laughs> Not going to lie. I did. I did. I, and I don't know if I've ever been that early for a Facebook Live ready for it. So I was pretty proud of myself. Let me do this. I'm pretty proud of myself there. Okay. Um... What do we have coming up this week? I, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on announcements because I have a lot of beautiful things that came in the mail I need to show you. Uh, my newest kit class, that's where it comes with some products and a kit and you get um, four different cards, a cardstock pre-cut pack scored and ready to roll of um Four different cards, two of each, so you get to make two of each card for a total of eight cards with some product. This month, Ashley and I, Ashley Pfeiffer out of Canada, we team up to do this Creativity Without Borders kit class every month. We're going to be using the Welcome Easter stamp set. And you're going to find this, all the information, and you'll be able to order the kits on Friday. On my blog, 6.30 a.m. Central Time is when I usually go live with blog posts. This coming Friday is the 6th, so no information, no pre-order on that prior to that time, but um, you can bet that I don't think we're just going to have Easter ideas because this these little creatures are so stinking cute. So what we do is we, we have exclusive video tutorials for all four cards, so you'll know how to make all four of them, and you get a whole bunch of stuff with it. And what's going to come with this kit is a half a pack, let me see if I can pull this open, of the best dressed designer series paper. Okay, so you're gonna get a half a pack of this six by six beautiful paper. You're also going to get the Gingham Gala self-adhesive sequins. And a Wink of Stella pen is gonna be included in the kit as well as the polka dot tool ribbon. So that's what we're gonna be designing the cards around. This kit is only available as a kit. It is not available for you to order just a pre-cut card stock pack, unless you're on my team. My team has some special privileges. And first of all, they get all my online classes for free once they've placed their first discount order. And they are also, a um, able to order a pre-cut cardstock pack for this kit class that's not available to the general public. So that's a great benefit of being on my team. If you've ever decided or thought about being a discount shopper, now's the best time during celebration, okay? So I'm not going to get into a whole bunch of things about this because I've said it a million times. You get this mini paper trimmer. It's a guillotine trimmer. You get a pack designer sampler pack of designer series paper. You also get any stamp set of your choice added on top of $125 in any product you want. There's nothing preset in the starter kit. You then get a 20% discount on all of your um, um, products. And all this for $99. No shipping, it's free shipping, you get a paper pumpkin kit, and you get to be part of my fabulous team. And can I just say, my team is fabulous. So, if you're interested in that, all that information's on my um, blog. You can also contact me via email, kelly at stampabove.com. Claudia says, I love that little paper trimmer. I do too. And Debbie says, Kelly's team is the best. Thank you guys, you're wonderful. I love my team. Okay, so, then I have an extra bonus for the kit class for the month of March using the Welcome Easter. The first 20 people that order it are going to get a little bonus. And a funny little story, I have 
20 of these. This is our Petal Pink Baker's Twine, silver and petal pink, no longer available. I have 20 of those. And then the Big Plans um, uh, Memories and More Kit, these are retired. They are bright and cheerful and fun. I have 20 of these, whoops, 20 of these. How does Kelly have 20 of those? Well, I know that you guys tend to think that I'm just really on top of my game and I try to be, <laughs> but sometimes I fall a little short. And when I first decided to start doing these kit classes, I ordered 20 of all of this stuff and some other things too, but 20 of all of this stuff. And I thought, I'll just start there and see where we go. But I never actually got the class made. So life got in the way and I have a box with 20 of these and 20 of these in it. The first 20 people that order the kit class starting on Friday, you can't order it now. Okay, because I don't have everything ready to roll. I don't have all the advertising done for it. There's a whole bunch of stuff that goes into these classes before I can have them ready for you. First 20 to order are going to get each of these because they're fabulous. You're going to love them. This is stinking adorable. It's going to match, I'm sure, the cards that we're going to make with the beautiful best dress paper, right? Look at perfect. Oops, here we go. Yeah. It's going to match nicely. And I will be giving those as a bonus to, uh, let me slow down, to the first 20 people that order the kit and include the add-on of the stamp set. I almost forgot that part, so I'm glad I took a nap and I'm thinking straight. If you add on the stamp set with the purchase of your kit, the first 20 people are going to get these. So there you go. And i got to put that back here so I don't forget. Okay, that will be available on Friday. And then my regular online class that comes with or without a pre-cut cardstock pack, you can just buy, oh, by the way, the kit is gonna be $45. You can add the stamp set on for an additional 25. Now, to my um, March online class, with, which comes with the option, you can buy the PDF file. You can also add on the um, bundle of products. If you didn't happen to get them last month, we are going to be using the Birthday Bonanza again. You guys know I collaborate with my friends Barb and Dina for this other class. And um, I know that I just used Birthday Bonanza last month for my kit class, but we're gonna do another whole different class with different cards um, for this month. And that information will be coming out sometime this week. I'm just gonna add it into my online class information. Um, you're going to find a video and an introduction to it on the 13th of March. So that's a Friday. So just know that that's coming. And we're going to be using Birthday Bonanza again. So if you ordered my kit class in um, February, was it February or January? I don't even know. But if you ordered the one I already did, this is going to be a totally different one. You're probably going to want that one too. And you can just get the PDF or you can get the PDF with the pre-cut cardstock or you can get all of the items that I list in the advertising, the stamp set, the dies, the ribbon, the this, the that, when you order, when you order, order the whole thing from me, you're going to get the online class for free and the pre-cut cardstock pack as a bonus. So that's the best deal. Okay. Don't forget to share this video. I really appreciate that. And that helps me grow. We always want to grow, right? Well, we don't want to grow this way. We want to grow this. No. I'm tall enough. I don't need to be taller. But you know what I mean, right? <laughs> and Deborah says she loves Birthday Bonanza. I know. It is such an incredibly fun stamp set. I have a pile of cards sitting right over here on my desk that's like this big, stacked up, of Birthday Bonanza projects. I just had so much fun with it. Okay, let me move this stuff off to the side because I have some pretty things to show you. Oh, we're going to get rid of these too. Did I, did I say thank you to Arliss? Thank you, Arliss, for sharing this card with me that I then made this card with because I love doing stuff like that. When I get something, I'll change it up a little bit, but this was the original idea, and I'm very grateful for it. So thank you very much, Arliss. Now, I have to share this beautiful gift that I got in the mail. This came to me from Karen Gondon. Oops, I opened it up upside down. Okay, so first of all, I got this little box in the mail, and I'm like, ooh, what could be in that little box? Yeah, check this out. Holy cow, right? This is the Good Morning Magnolia suite, and Kieran 
Jen sent me this little gift package thanking me for all my stamping, you know, all the things. Um, I read through all of this and I'm not going to read it again because it's, I love it. I love it when people do this, right? Because it's like, oh, um, I love getting to know people who follow me or people that are on my team. But at the very end, uh, oh, she says, I would like to meet you in person someday. I think we could be good friends. How sweet is that? Here's a beautiful card. And then there's more. Look at this. Okay, remember when I um, showed you guys how to do like box wraps for different gifts? Like we did the um, the chocolates from the fancy chocolate store. Look at, she made this little box. And this is absolutely gorgeous. I'll just show it to you. It's a, it's a wrap. And then she made this little box. And look, she put the little half circles in here. Not quite half circles. So you can open it up. And then I have some Dinstall's. Famous candies. And I have to tell you guys if I can get the box open, which I'm not gonna lie, I already ate one and they're delicious. <laughs> but yeah, I thought this was just the sweetest little box. And it all goes back together just like that. And isn't that just a really pretty way to get give a special little gift to someone? There's more. Look at this. I did not have any of these yet. Look at how she decorated that, you guys. This is just the cutest little gift set ever. And it took a lot of effort, not a lot of money. It's about the presentation, right? I have another example of about the presentation that I have to show you too. But this is Fine Candies and this Dinstall's is from Memphis. So, oh my goodness. Karen... I can't even tell you how thoroughly thrilled I was to get this cute little gift box. Thank you so much. The candy is delicious. All right, then I have another big thank you. This goes out to Nancy Clark. Nancy Clark lives in Illinois. It's a pretty little card that came with a huge box and it had a whole gift basket in it um, of a new mom survival kit. And it had a little card on explaining all the things that was in the gift basket. It was stinking adorable. And Nancy, I gave that to Haley at her shower today and she was so very touched. So, and it had a bag of socks because you get all this stuff for the baby, but the mama needs something too, she said. And it was just the sweetest little thing. So thank you so much. That was just so touching. Then I got a card from Kay Allen. Oh, this is this is cute. Ready? The little ladybugs. What? Yeah. Isn't that stinking adorable? Yeah. I love cards that move. Everybody loves to play with a card if it moves. And um, thank you for the stamp set. So she's thanking me for the stamp set. And thank you, Kay, for such a stinking adorable card. Next, I got a card from Sharon Jones. Isn't this pretty? Yes. Sharon um, used one of my layouts. And look at how pretty that is on the inside. She's one of the dies there. Yeah, really cool. Very cool. What did Haley just said something? I kind of missed it. Sometimes my screen scrolls really fast on my phone. Another card from Sharon. Look at this was from the Paper Pumpkin Kit for February. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Sharon knocked it out of the park with that kit. I'll tell you that. Yep. Thank you, Sharon. I always love getting your cards. Next, I have a beautiful card from Christina Cooper Rider. And, oh, this one is really sweet. Look at how pretty that is. And then she says, thank you for bringing the joy of stamping back into my life. She ran across my videos about a year after her husband passed away unexpectedly and felt my creative spark click on. I love that. I love that. I love these kind of stories. Like this is the best kind of story, right? Um, and, and I have heard that from people before that you just need a little something, right? A little something to get you going again. And I'm just so 
touched that that's how it worked for you. So thank you very much, Christina. That was really sweet. Cindy Ellers sent me this card. Isn't that pretty? This uses the painted poppies. Yeah, beautiful. And, um, oh, she's telling me congrats on the latest sales achievement. You guys know that I hit my 900,000, right? And uh, she was thanking me for a stamp set and dies that she received. Cindy is a good friend of mine and she's part of my team. So beautiful card, Cindy. Thank you so much. Last but not least, we have Barbara Beck. And Barbara's been playing with the honeybee stamp set. Isn't that fun? Now this designer series paper is free with a $50 order and it's gold foil. So it's specialty paper. And Barbara's card. Oh, look, you got to see this. Ready? Yeah, she's got a little honeycomb thing in here. This is a little um, glue-in piece. And it says, you're the queen bee. You are a honey. How sweet is that? Barbara, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I've got all these beautiful cards here and I am going to set them up here so I don't lose them because this is about to become a big old mess. You know, you know how this works, right? Um, let's see, did I show you this tool ribbon? That's going to be part of the kit also. I don't know if I showed that to you, but I'll set that back there. That'll be part of the uh, Welcome Easter kit. Oh, I got a mess going on. Do you guys want to hear about prizes? Yeah. Okay. So there's three ways. The first way is to leave a comment. So if you're new to me and you've never watched me, you know that you want to at least type one comment so you can get entered into the drawing to win something. I give away product every week on my Facebook Lives. And you can just say, Hi, it's Judy from Cincinnati or whatever. Just leave a comment so you can get in on that. And my first winner tonight is going to get these red rhinestone basic jewels. Woo, pretty. And that is going to be Heather Kohler. Heather's from Menasha, Wisconsin, right here where I live. And um, she's going to be getting these in the mail. And that's for commenting on my video. And hi, Linda. I'm happy to see you on here. Linda is one of my, she was my best friend in high school. How fun is that? Next I have for sharing my video. So you can go click on that share button right now and share it and that really helps me grow. And I appreciate that so much. The next winner is gonna get these Peaceful Poppy Elements. These are absolutely gorgeous. I have had a blast with them. They were part of the um, um, painted poppies class this last month, which you can still get by the way. I have extra pre-cut cardstock packs. Let's see, I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, about fourteen or fifteen extra pre-cut cardstock packs left of the peaceful poppy or the painted poppy class. Let's keep that the painted poppy class. So, anyways, this this was part of that class if you ordered the entire bundle. My winner for sharing the video last week is Denise Krieger. Denise is from Appleton, Wisconsin, but she is right now in Mesa, Arizona, where she winters. And Denise is the one that I went down and stayed with um, last year when we went to Arizona. So Denise, you're gonna have these coming in the mail. And that's for sharing my video. So thank you so much. Last but not least, I have a little ladybug set. And guess who's gonna get this? This is for placing an order with me in the last week. And Wendy Morse of Apple Valley, Minnesota, you are the big winner. Congratulations. And as long as I'm showing that to you, I need to show you that part of our coordination product release, which is a promotion going on right now to the end of March, the little, whoops, the little ladybug has matching framelits. Okay. Now, the only way you can get the stamp set is by putting in a $300 order, or perhaps I might have another one. To give away. So, yeah, pretty cool, right? Okay, um, all of this information, by the way, can be found on, in my Stampin' Up! online store. You're going to see product coordination release. Click on that, it'll tell you everything that's part of this. This is where the Pleased as Punch designer series paper is coming from that I used for this card and also this card. And then we made a whole bunch of cards last week on Facebook Live. I think it was last week using this paper. Whoops. This paper also. So there's some really great products in there. 
Let me set that back over here so I don't lose it. Okay. Oops, I forgot this one. Are we ready to stamp? Who's ready? Who's ready? Who's ready to stamp? I'm ready to stamp. I think it's time. Okay, I'm going to pull you guys. Oops, i got to put these gifts up here so I can get those out in the mail and not lose them. Hang on, I've got quite a thing piling up back here. Um, I need to pull you up on my screen. What are you guys drinking tonight? I have, you know what I have, right? Oh, I forgot to plug my phone in and it just says my battery's low. Whew, got that taken care of. Uh, let me make sure that that is plugged in. Because if it, if it goes too low, yeah, I will go bye-bye prematurely. Not good. We don't want any premature things happening here tonight. Right? <laughs> okay. Um, I'm pulling up my Facebook Live here so that I can see all your comments coming in because we're going to get ready to flip this camera around. So tonight, I am going to be working with... Which card are we going to do first? Let me look. I think we're going to do this one first because it's super duper easy and I have a several different colors made to show you that's going to be really fun. We're going to be using Music from the Heart stamp set, okay? This is my friend Dawn Elshevsky actually designed this when she was a million dollar achiever with Stampin' Up! And um, I met Dawn at my very first Founder Circle event in Utah. Stampin' Up! used to send the top 100 and the top, I think, 20 or 10 from Canada to um, a retreat in Utah every year. And I got to enjoy that for many years before. They redid the compensation plan and now we do other things. But I met Dawn in an elevator um, at the very first Founder Circle event that I went to. And she's from Minnesota and of course Midwest. We just kind of hit it off right away and I became very good friends with her. She is a dear, and this is the set that she designed because she loves music. I think she has a daughter that's actually in a band and um, makes a living from music. So, kind of cool, right? It's always a little nice to hear the backstory from all of these things. So, I think I'm ready. Let me get out my card stock because that's always kind of a fun. Oh, I'll bring this back up here too so I have something to put all these things back in. My little cheat sheet out here. We are going to be playing with the Flowering Foils <clears throat> excuse me, Specialty Designer Series paper, you guys. And this paper is absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is going to be available starting March... Third, I believe. Is that right? Mm, there's a, yeah, let me grab my little celebration deal here. Okay, so on March 3rd, yes, March 3rd, you are going to be able to see this brochure online. Now, I don't send these out in the mail because it's a very short time frame. And to do that is a tremendous amount of work. Plus, um, it's expensive. So I'm, I'm thinking about what somebody just said. And Haley, my daughter just asked, have you thought about what kind of set you'll design when you hit the million? That's a really good question. And I have thought about it, but I have come up with nothing yet. So maybe you guys can help me with that. What do you think? Because I just really don't know. Like there's so many different things that I love. I don't know how to put that all into one stamp set. I don't know. So we'll have to think about that. But anyways, back to this. Thanks Haley for asking. The flowering specialty designer series paper is right here and we're gonna be using that on the card tonight. But before we do that, I have one more thing to show you. So I forgot because I had it sitting on the floor because I got so many things this week. Now, I had another gift package that came in a great big, I mean, I mean great big box. It was crazy. The first thing when I opened it that I found was this. Does this look familiar? This is our Lily Impressions Designer Series paper. And this says, you have what it takes to be unstoppable and I couldn't be more proud. And then it says, open first. So, when I opened up this beautiful box and then I put the ribbon back on so I could show you how pretty it was, 
when I opened up this beautiful box, this is what I found. Yeah, this is from my team leader, Ann Huebner, congratulating me on my $900,000 in career to date sales. So, how fun is that, right? And next, in that great big giant box, I got this. And again, all about the presentation. This one says, woohoo, open second. And again, we she used the designer series paper, the Lily Impressions. And when I opened that, this is what was in there. It's a chain and it's a progress chain. And the first one says 910,000. And the second one says 920,000. And the third one, 930,000 all the way down to $1 million. Yeah, look at that. So we have a progress chain that I will be keeping you up to date on to let you know my progress in reaching that million dollar sales. For those of you that may be you, new to me, um, or you missed last week or whenever it was, when you reach a million dollars in sales as a Stampin' Up! independent demonstrator, you get a ton of woohoo, and I mean big woohoo. Like you get flown out to Salt Lake City first class, they put you up in a beautiful hotel, um, you get lavish gifts, uh, you get to visit the home office, you get to be presented with one of those giant checks like they have on TV, $10,000 cash bonus, $3,000 product credit, you get to design your own stamp set, you get to spend time with Shelly Gardner, she is the co-founder of Stampin' Up! You get to spend time with Sarah Douglas, who is the CEO, and Shelly's daughter, who's now running Stampin' Up! It's a whole big deal, like a whole big deal. And I think there's only, gosh, I don't know if my number's right anymore, but I think there's only 37 demonstrators worldwide that have ever achieved this milestone. So, <sighs> holy cow, but back to this. It's all about the presentation. That giant box, which was so very pretty and so thoughtful, there went a lot of thought went into this. This is what was in that giant box and I couldn't have been more thrilled. And I sent Anne a message and I said, it's all about the presentation. And again, when we're making these little treat holders, you know, it, it takes our time and effort. It doesn't cost anything. We already have the products. It doesn't cost anything extra to do all of that. But it's all about the presentation. I didn't have to have this flower on here, right? These flowers are pretty, the jar is cute, but it's all about the presentation and those extra things that you do to make things extra special. That's, that's how I operate. So thank you guys so much. I see all the love floating on the screen. I really appreciate it. Um, it's gonna be super fun and, oh wait, it says battery low again. Hang on, I'm unplugged. Hang on. I don't know where I'm unplugged. Oh, right here. Okay, did that go away? It didn't, but it does tell me how much battery is remaining. Okay, so hang on a second. I gotta make sure that this cord is plugged in. I got cords everywhere. Take a drink. We're going to have a brief intermission. <laughs> okay. I am pretty sure we are plugged in now. Okay. Whew. Oh. Who just said they love pe being a part of my Mary O'Connell? She says, I love being a Kelly groupie. Woohoo! Oh, thank you so much. Like, it's going to be so very exciting. Okay, I think we're ready to turn the camera around and start some stamping, hey? Yeah, okay, hang on. Close your eyes. If you get motion sickness, um, I'll tell you when to open them. We're going to look at my ceiling fan for a moment. And then I have to unmirror my screen, so just hang on. There we go. Okay, we are ready to rock. Now... Some people might ask about my host code because I know some, you guys you guys that are really sharp, you keep on top of things. Um, 
This is still the monthly host code. It's not monthly. I shouldn't call it monthly because it's not monthly, but this is still my current host code. If you're going to place an order under $150, you want to use this code. I don't change it monthly. I just change it periodically. So this is the correct code. You're always going to find that on the right-hand side of my blog. And by the way, you can open your eyes now. I Sorry, I forgot to say anything. But... um. Whatever the code is in the right-hand column of my blog is always going to be the current one. You can place your orders with that. Sometimes people get confused because yesterday this was the code and now it's a new month. And shouldn't I have a new code? Nope, I don't need to. I'm going to still use this one probably for another week or two maybe even. We'll see. But look at these pretty colors. So I told you that I was going to be using this gorgeous paper, right? And I'm going to see if my screen is scrolling properly. It's not. <laughs> oh, now it seems to be. Um, hang on just a second. Oh, <laughs> Verna, thank you. Yeah, I was almost ready to holler for Steve to come in here and look at my cords to find out because I wanted to get back with you guys. But um, I did figure out what was going on. So I got the cord. I'm plugged in. I'm going to make sure here. Yep. I don't see that coming back up on here again. Okay, so designer series paper. I've shown you guys this um, in the last couple of weeks. This is going to be a new celebration item. This is free with your $50 order starting March 3rd. Okay, so we've got this pattern. We've got this pattern. We've got these big, beautiful flowers. And is there another one? Yep, this one. This one right here. So it's silver and copper, rose gold, whatever you want to call it. But it is absolutely delicious. And hang on, let me move this out of the way. I am going to be using a Mango Melody card base. Do you get your order sent out right away with that host code? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Carol just asked, when you use the host code, does your order ship right away? Yes. The host code has nothing to do with when your order ships. So yes, you absolutely, it will go out um, the same whether you use the code or not, for sure. Okay. Mango Melody. Five and a half by eight and a half. I just fold it in half. Then... I've got a piece of Whisper White here. This is four by five and a quarter. Then I've got a piece of Basic Black. This is two and a quarter by four. And then we're going to be using this Crosshatch Copper Designer Series Paper. And again, this is called um, ooh, um, Flowering Foils Specialty Designer Series Paper. Free with your $50 order. You get a whole pack of it. It is not double-sided either, by the way. I just want you to know that. How many sheets do you get? Does anybody... Hang on. I'm going to tell you. Oh, now I can't find my little brochure. But I don't remember how many sheets you get with this. Um, does anybody see my brochure? Oh, here it is. Sorry. I told you things were going to be a mess, right? So, you get three sheets of... Um, single-sided designs. They're 12 by 12, so you're going to get 12 sheets total, three of each one of the designs in here. So that's always good to know. First thing we're going to do is we are going to take our Mango Melody ink, and I am going to change the color of this because you can change it to any color that you have, ink or markers or all kinds of products, but I'm going to use a Stampin' Sponge and Mango Melody. Now you're going to notice that this paper is not super thick. Some of our paper is really, really thick and some of it isn't. This is not super thick. So you want to take little strokes to um, change the color on this. You don't want to go like this because you're probably going to crunch it up. That's what I'm getting at. I don't want you to crunch your paper because I did that a couple times. So if you take your time and just add little swirly whirlies and I'm probably jiggling the camera all over the place but you know it is what it is okay Donna says March 3rd is when you can order it as a free set March 3rd is when you can order this paper 
and also anything else in that brochure. And again, you're going to find that brochure in my online store. It'll also be on my blog, that new brochure. Look at how pretty that is. Yeah, so we took it from white to a different color. And you can make this any color you want. And I just so happen to have several of them to show you because you know I like to do that, right? Okay, we're going to go with... Um, I think we're done. Well, we're not done with that yet, but we're going to bring in the Memento ink. And I'm going to take this cute little image and we're going to just stamp this on the inside Whisper White layer. And then I'm going to grab my Mango Melody Dark Stampin' Blend marker. And I'm just going to color in that little heart there. And we are ready to put this on the inside of our card. Now there's lots of things you could do. You could add a little strip of designer series paper. You could color it mango melody. Hang on, I got some problems going on here. And my hands are cold right now too. And when my hands get cold, none of my rings fit. Like, this is making me crazy, so I'm going to take that off. I don't have to wear it anymore. It was it was fancy for today, right? <laughs> okay, there we go. And by the way, I just used a pokey tool on the end of that glue just to because it wasn't coming out. Isn't that pretty? It's just really kind of stunning. It's a stunning color combination. All right, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Memento ink... And I'm going to grab the um, piano. And I'm going to stamp that um, right about here. And then there's several different greetings that come with the stamp set. This one says just a note. I'm going to use this one. And I'm just going to stamp this down in the bottom right corner. Okay, because this will be just kind of a general all occasion card that I can use. Hang on, my screen is not scrolling again. I don't know why my computer does that. So you guys, what happens is it doesn't scroll up with your comments and then I miss them. So if you asked a question and you didn't get an answer, please ask again and I do apologize. But I don't know why it does that. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. It's very weird. So now I'm using Mango Melody and these little musical notes, and I have to make a confession. So I have no musical talent in me whatsoever. Um, the only talent that I have is in my car by myself with the windows rolled up, and then I am a rock star. But other than that, no, that's not one of my superpowers. But I can sing a mean, song on a road trip by myself. So just saying. And I'm just kind of stamping this all over because now we're going to take this piece. I didn't put it over here because we're going to cover it up. And I'm going to add this right here. Isn't that stunning? That pop of black. And I pulled this black in because I used black here. I'm going to add this to the front of my card. There we go. We have just a couple more things to do before we're done with this little beauty. Let me close this up. I'm gonna take my Wink of Stella and I am going to color in just the heart. There we go. And then I wanted some black rhinestones, or rhinestones, some black sequins on here. And the one place that I can find them is in the um, Peaceful Poppies sequin assortment. And let me see. Here comes my Take Your Pick tool. This time I am going to use some mini glue dots. And I like to just kind of scrunch them up like that. I hope you can see that. I'm going to put one right there. Now, you can use glue, or you can use mini glue dots, or maybe you have a different way to put sequins on, but this way works. The glue way works, but you have to kind of wad the mini glue dots up because they're a little big for the size of sequins. So, 
And again, um, this is a take your pick tool. It's fabulous. You get some putty end replacements that pick things up and then you have the spatula and this end and it comes with other things and it's amazing. If you don't have one, you're gonna wanna add it to your order because I use this thing all the time. Like I have three of them sitting on my desk at all times. And here comes another, I'm just turning these, whoops. <laughs> Did you see that? It's trying to get away. There we go. Okay, what do you think? Is that not pretty? Yeah, so do you want to see some other colors? Hang on, let me get this closed before I have some type of a disaster. Get this out of the way and I'll bring in some other colors. I think I might need that again. Okay, so here comes there's my Mango Melody. Here comes Real Red. No, no, Poppy Parade. Look at how pretty that is. And again, I did the same thing. I used the You're the Music in My Heart. This time I used a red Stampin' Blend on the inside. Here comes a Granny Apple Green one. This one uses the guitar. I should show, well, uh, am I gonna show you that on my other card? I don't think so. I should show you how to do that one. Hang on, let's, Let's show you, because it took a little bit for me to go, how did they do that? So they're using this thing, and I don't know what it's called, because I just told you I have no musical talent except as a rock star in my car by myself. Um, so I'm just going to stamp that right here, and then you take the guitar end like this, and it fits right on there like that. That's how you make this super cool guitar. And again, I use the Winkostella in the middle there. And then here's another guitar card with um, Bermuda Bay. Same exact card. So we've got all of these beautiful colors, right? With Dawn stamp set, which I absolutely love. It's just, it was so fun. All right. First card down, and I'm throwing the lids. No, we're good. I'm going to clean this off. Look at what a mess I made out of that. This is our simple, simply chamois or something like that. It's called a chamois. I can't remember the exact name, but this is how I clean my stamps, and I love it. And get a couple things put away here. Oh, I forgot to do this one. Bring that back. How about this one? I don't know if I did this one. Isn't that easy? This is how I clean my stamps. It's just super, super, super simple. I love that. Okay, then I'm gonna bring in the next set because we're still gonna be using this stamp set. Is it glaring at you? Oh, a little bit. I hate it when it does that. Okay, that looks better. All right. Next, I'm going to load, unload all my stuff. All right, you guys, again, my screen isn't scrolling, so I can't see your questions. I'll have at the end, if you if I missed a question, I'll have um, at the end where you can ask again, because I'm sorry. There's nothing I can really do about it. Bermuda Bay is Jean's favorite, but she says they're all gorgeous. And Kathy says she likes the green one, too. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. So, for the next card that I'm making, I'm going to be using the From My Heart Specialty Designer Series paper. And while you may think, Kelly, what are you doing? Valentine's Day is over. It is, but we have a lot of fun little patterns in here that don't have anything to do with Valentine's Day. They're just red. So, I love to find other ways to use this Designer Series paper so I can continue to use it even after the holiday is over. So I've got my real red ink. I've got my timeless label punch here. Oh, let me put this away. Do I, do I need this? I don't think I do. Oh, we'll see. I've also got some of this real red satin ribbon. This is really, really pretty. And I'm gonna bring in my little cheat sheet. Oh, by the way, you guys, if I didn't tell you before, all of the measurements and ingredient lists and the whole deal, I will post above the video 
once I'm done being live. And my mom is here, so I think I'm not going to do this stuff until maybe morning. I don't know. We'll see because I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of neglecting her right now. But she knows. She knows I'm doing a Facebook Live, and that's my job. But anyways, I probably won't get this to this until the morning. So just so you know. But all that stuff will be posted above the video and also on my blog with a replay link to these projects. Okay, so what I've got here is a real red card base. Let me get all my little bits and pieces out here. Yeah, there we go. Um, I think that might be a scrap. Yeah, I think it is. Ooh, and I think I might be missing a scrap. How does that even happen? Okay, um, this is a real red card base. It is five and a half by eight and a half. I'm gonna score it, or I'm not scoring it. I'm gonna fold it in half and burnish that edge. Okay, then we've got a Whisper White layer. This is for the um, inside. We've got a basic black layer here that is four by five and a quarter, and this is just gonna go on the front of our card. Oh, and I have shout out. Shout out to Kathy Miller. She's one of my team members. This is actually her card design. I got this at an event that I went to, and she actually designed this card, so that was pretty fun. Then we've got a scrap of Whisper White. Now, with the scrap of Whisper White, we are going to die cut a circle. And then, let me bring this in here. We're going to die cut a circle, and we're also going to stamp, um, what does this say? Just a note. Okay, so I'm going to stamp just a note here, just like that. I love the font on this. It's really pretty. Then we're going to punch this, and... Like I said, we're gonna die cut a stitch shape circle and we're gonna come up with this little deal. And I'm gonna stamp that piano in here. Stand up so I make sure I get it. There we go. Um, I think we can close this up. Um, I, oh, no, we can't. I was wrong. It happens from time to time. <laughs> Not going to lie. I'm going to stamp one of these right down here, just like we did on that last card. You can, of course, do anything you want on the inside of your cards, but I like to do just a little something. And then I want to grab... Is this real red? This is Cherry Cobbler. Hang on, I'm looking for real red. Is this real red? Yeah, that's dark real red. I'm gonna bring in my Stampin' Blend marker. And I'm just gonna color that part in. And then you know what I thought would be really cool too? I think I'm gonna color this heart in too. So I love how this heart is in here. There's hearts all over in all these little musical things. So way to go, Dawn. You designed a really cute stamp set. There we go. And then I'm going to open up my real red. And I'm going to stamp some little musical notes. Just like that. Maybe we'll grab some of these. Do that. Yep, okay, that looks great. We don't want to get too carried away with that. Now I have a scrap of Real Red, so we're going to punch out that Timeless Label Punch again, and I'm just going to add the stamped layer offset just a touch to kind of give it a border. Now I have to find some dimensionals. Hang on. Here's my little goodie basket of all the goodie things. <laughs> that I keep under my desk so they're at my fingertips. Okay, and I'm going to do a dimensional on the back of this greeting layer. I'm going to do some dimensionals on the back of this circle. 
And then there's one other thing that I forgot to put in here. Or maybe I put it in here and I can't find it now. I don't know how that all works. But I am going to do one and three quarters by three and a quarter. So I need one and three quarters by three and a quarter. Hang on while I grab my little guillotine cutter. Yeah, this is perfect. One and three quarters by three and a quarter. And that's gonna be right there. There we go. Perfect to keep on your tabletop, right? And don't forget, you get this free when you join my team as a discount shopper. Okay, next, I'm gonna bring in this little piano because it's super, super cute. And we're going to stamp all over this. So, oh, and I know that piano keys, there's an upside down and a right side up to them. Okay, so this would be the right side up. Yeah. And we're just going to, whoops, stamp this all the way down. And the idea here is to get it so that it touches each other, but it's hard for me to get my head all the way in here. <laughs> because I'm wearing a crown and my crown is trying to fall off as I'm tipping my head way up here. But if you put yourself right over top of your layer, you'll be able to do this. And look how cool it looks. Isn't it neat? So I'm basically making a layer of my own designer series paper. Look at how fun that is. Yeah. Okay, next. I've got a piece of this designer series paper and I just realized that I have this little cheat sheet right here and my white layer was on here so I didn't need to measure it with a ruler <laughs> for Pete's sakes. Okay, <clears throat> this layer, one and a half by three and three quarters. We're gonna take that and remember this is the heart paper. This would also go really good with the ladybugs stamp set, all this red paper, it's pretty cool. We're gonna put this right over here. And then we're gonna take our piano crazy piece and we're gonna put that right over here. And then I'm going to, hang on, I'm reaching for things. Um, find this layer. Now this layer right here is gonna go right here, but before we do that, I want to put some of this ribbon in here. Let me close this up. Okay, so I'm gonna zigzag this ribbon back and forth. My friend Dina likes to do this a lot and it's just a really cool look. So it's gonna zigzag here and I'm leaving this piece in place so I know how far my little zigs and zags need to go, okay? So I'm kinda of doing a dry fit and then we're gonna end up right there. Where are my scissors? Yeah, when I got home today, well, I should say when I got up from my little tiny nap, it was only 45 minutes that I laid down, but when I got home today, I had glue guns and glue sticks all over the place and burlap from making all the stuff for Haley's shower, so I had to get that all cleaned up before I could do anything in here. It, was, it wasn't too bad, but it was, it was a bit of a disaster. Now, I'm going to take my snail adhesive, and you can do this any old way you want, but I just find that adding a few strips of snail where this is gonna cover them up is an easy way to do this. And now my ribbon is just gonna stick right in the snail, right? I'm just pushing it down so I can zig and zag just like that. And now I'm gonna pop these backings off. Where's my take your pick tool go? Does anybody see it? Take your pick tool. Oh, here it is. And I'm going to put this right over top. Isn't that cute? Okay, so I see that I need to trim this one just a little bit. It's a little bit long. There we go. And last but not least, we're gonna come in with our little sentiment. Oh, this isn't last, because we still have to put the inside in place. Here we go. This is gonna go right down here. Just 
just like that. Oh my gosh, what do you guys think? I love this layout. When I saw this card, I actually made it as a make and take at a demonstrator event. And when I saw this card, I was like, oh my gosh, that is the coolest little layout, isn't it? I love what Kathy did with the piano keys. Super cute. Okay, the last thing before we go any further, as long as I've got a Wink of Stella out here, I thought it would be fun to add that to my red heart because, well, why not? We'll do it right there. There we go. Ta-da! Okay, so here's another card using the music from the heart. And we've still got birds in here. We've got these, I don't know, that's reading musical note lines. I don't know what they're called. I'm such, I'm so musically illiterate, you guys. Yeah, I don't know who, you know, I don't know my artist, Monet and all that, and I don't know music. It's just a thing. <laughs> Okay, let me put some of this stuff away. So, what did you guys have for supper? I did not eat supper tonight because I woke up and came right in here. But I can, t I can tell you, I had more than enough to eat today. <laughs> My husband told me when I got home, he's like, no more sugar. <laughs> yeah, I had a little sugar buzz going there. But um, all the food was so good today at the shower. Like, why wouldn't you? Right? Okay, hang tight, putting things away, ribbon, here we go, uh, scraps, uh, okay, I think I'm good. Now, next, you guys need some more? I hope you want more. Are you ready for more? Because I have more. Oh, steak and sweet potatoes. Good for you, Cheryl. Cheeseburger and fries, Kathy. That sounds good. <gasps> Chicken Alfredo with garlic toast, says Heather. Yeah, I have a ton of Italian food in my refrigerator. Like, Steve and I are never, ever, ever going to be able to eat all this food. I hope I can send some home with my mom. That's what I really hope. Okay, next card coming. We are bright and colorful tonight. Look at all that prettiness. Oops, I gotta get out my baker's twine. And we have some more scraps here. Okay, here we go. I am bringing in So Sentimental and the Stitch So Sweetly Dies. You can buy these together as a bundle and get a 10% discount. This is an incredible bundle. Absolutely love it. I've got two different cards here that I'm going to show you tonight. Well, I shouldn't say they're, they're different colors. Just so you can see like, oh, that's pretty. And oh, look how pretty that is. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I would say. Okay, first thing I'm going to do here is I am going to tie my bow. So I've got, oh, where's my cheat sheet? I do not have one. Oh, that's a problem. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'm going to have to wing it. What is this one? Pop-up card, mango. No, that's old. Okay, so we're winging it. Oh, I can handle it. Um, I've got three pieces of Baker's Twine here, and these measure 10 inches. So three pieces at 10 inches. And I've just put them all together, and now I'm going to come in here and make a bow. Otherwise, you can just tie a bow. If you don't have one of these bow jigs, just tie yourself a bow. But if you do have one, use it. It's amazing. I love it. And if you want, if you want one, you can make one. It's just holes drilled in a piece of wood. That's all there is to it. This is an inch apart, and then a half an inch and a half an inch on either side. That's all there is to this. It's a chunk of wood with holes in it. And then these are like finished nails, I guess. I don't know. Some type of nails without the big heads on the top. Nobody needs a big head, right? Okay, um, Poppy Parade is our card base, and this is four and a quarter by 11. I've scored it at five and a half, so I'm just going to come in and burnish that edge good, and okay, good. Now my screen seems to be scrolling a little bit. Then I've got a Whisper White layer here, and this is four by five and a quarter. That's for the inside of my card. 
Then I've got a scrap of our copper foil sheets. And what I'm going to do with that is die cut this stitched so sweetly die out of the copper. And of course, when I do that, it looks like that. Isn't that pretty? Stitching is so popular right now on everything. So there we go. And then, what else is happening here? Oh, the designer series paper. So this is four by five and a half, not five and a quarter, but four by five and a half. And this is three quarters by four. So we've got that um, um, flowering foil specialty paper that you can get free starting March 3rd with your $50 order. And then this is a scrap of Whisper White. And I should have some embossing powder someplace right here. Oh, I started with the wrong card. I've got another one too. I may save that one until next week, you guys, because we're getting kind of late and I know people have to go to bed and we'll see how you feel about it. All right, scrap of Whisper White. We're gonna use our Stampin' Buddy, or embossing buddy, I should say, my Stampin' Buddy, my embossing buddy to wipe that off. We are going to take the Can't Thank You Ina and we're gonna stamp that here. And then I have copper embossing powder. Just a little piece of paper here. Copper embossing powder. Doo -doo -doo. Dump that on there. Oh, I see I got an edge on there. You know how to take care of that? Hang on, I have... I just wheeled this around. I've got, here we go, here's my little paintbrush. I just have a little paintbrush. Come right in there. Look at that. Yeah, cheap, cheap, well, this probably isn't a really cheap one because I used to do decorative painting. I don't know what kind it is, but get yourself a cheap little paintbrush. That'll help when you need to rub something off, um, like embossing powder. Okay, we're gonna pop that back in there. Then you're gonna get out your handy dandy heat tool and I'm under here, that's sound effects. And then it's gonna look like this. <laughs> Did you like that? I like that. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do <clears throat> is we're gonna take our paper and like I sponged the other, um, oh, let's do this first. We're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of here. And we're gonna add this to, oops. Oh my goodness. There we go. Dimensionals, I've got them sticking everywhere. Rah! Okay, here we go. We're gonna put this on here. So line this up nicely so it's looking good. There we go. Okay. And then, um, like we did with the other card, where we sponged ink onto the specialty designer series paper. Now we're gonna use Stampin' Blends. And I've got Poppy Parade here. And what you're gonna do is, you can again use a sponge or you can take and just color these little flowers in. Now, if you like to color, this is for you. If you do not like to color, perhaps this is not your gig, but you can sit down in front of the TV and color these little flowers. This is gonna be our layer for the inside. You're gonna color all the little flowers. You're gonna color all the little flowers here. And when you get done doing that, you're gonna have something that looks like this. And isn't that pretty? I love it, okay? So this little piece right here is gonna go, where's my glue, right here. I'm just gonna glue this on. I've already got dimensionals under my white layer. So I'm just gonna glue this on right here. I've got another one to show you too, so don't go any place, cause it's really pretty. Oh, let me get this out of the way. And here's our inside layer. And again, that's all this little strip is for, is just to add to the inside. Don't forget that when you're using Stampin' Blends, they will bleed through the back, so you don't ever wanna use it as like your card front and color on it because you're going to get the bleed through. I'm just going to leave a little bit of a white margin down here at the bottom. Okay, 
This is going to go on the inside of our card. Oh, Sue says she loves embossing. I know it's really fun, isn't it? And Sherry's joining us late. Sherry, I'm glad you made it. It's fine. You can watch the beginning on the replay. You want to watch the beginning because I share a bunch of the things that I had for Haley's shower and a bunch of gifts that I got this week. Holy cow. All right, now we're going to put this on the front. And the neat thing about this is that, like I said, this is four by five and a half. So we've just got the poppy on each side and this meets up to the front and all the way down to the bottom. And then we're gonna take a mini glue dot and we're gonna add that right down here. Where'd my bow go? Right here. Here comes my little, oh, before you do that part, I like my tails to curl a little bit. And did you know that you can kind of curl our baker's twine? Hang on to your bow and curl it and you can see that it'll curl up for you. And I just think that's a really cute look. It adds a lot of character to your bow tails. You can do this with some ribbon too. It works really good with our um, linen thread. Look at how cute that is, right? Okay, and then I'm going to take this, put it right there. What do you guys think? Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I love this, love, love, love this foil paper. And of course you can do this any color you want. Here is one I did with So Saffron. So we've got So Saffron and Poppy Parade. And then the other idea that I had is I thought, well, let's do So Saffron and emboss that and put that on here. But I, I can tell you that I didn't actually attach it because I just thought the white popped better. I don't know, which one do you guys like better? Do you like the one with the So Saffron label? Or do you want, do you like the one that has the white? I don't know, I thought they were both pretty cool. All right. Um, I think I'm actually going to save the other card for next week because we're already at 823 and my mom is here, you guys. So it's not that I don't want to stamp with you some more, but I've taken up enough of your time. I'm going to flip the camera around right now, so hang tight. Here we go. So I'm not talking to the back of your head because you guys know I don't like that that much, right? <laughs> yeah, so I have another card that I made with the um, flowering oil specialty designer series paper, and I'll share that with you guys next Sunday. I'll be live again on Sunday, um, March 8th, which is next Sunday at 7 p.m. Central Time. Yeah, and um, don't forget, oh, did I mirror my screen? Nope, I didn't. Here we go. I don't want to be backwards again. Don't forget, if you would like to place an order, I always appreciate your orders. This is my current host code. You're going to enter that in when you go to your shopping bag. Um, for every $50 that you order right now, you get a free item. This will be available for free on March 3rd. And then you're going to find my blog right here at stampabove.com. And I will be loading pictures um, and all the dimensions for all of these cards probably in the morning because my mom's here and I want to go spend some time with her. And I know you guys will say, go spend time with your mom. I really appreciate it, by the way. You're always very sweet and thoughtful that way. And it always just kind of warms my heart. <clears throat> so... Um, did anybody have any questions that I may have missed? I'm watching my screen right now. Somebody asked last week, and I missed the question, but I saw it later. They asked if, um, how were my glasses working? Because you guys know I got new glasses. Well, when I do a Facebook Live, I have to put my old glasses on because I can't read your comments with my new glasses. Um, I do fine with them. Otherwise, they're not giving me headaches anymore. But when I put my new glasses on, which are very similar to my old glasses, now things are a little fuzzy on my screen. I can't see um, as well. So I wear the old glasses. I keep them right here. Works perfectly. Again, did anybody have any questions that I missed? I'm really sorry, but 
my screen wasn't scrolling and it's hard to stamp and talk and keep your thoughts and read the questions and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spend time with my mom. Thank you all. Linda, I am so sorry. Linda's mom has been gone for three years. I'm so sorry. Yeah, my I lost my dad back in 2012, I think. And yeah, that's rough, right? Maggie says she loves the dyes. Norma's watching. Hi, Kathy Beck. We've got Yvonne on here. Stacy. Oh, you're very welcome. Stacy says thank you for sharing with us. Oh, I'm so glad you guys like the cards. Like, I thought these were really cool, right? Aren't these neat looking? I love, love, love what you can do with that specialty paper. Um, Susan is asking, where are the sequins that I showed at the beginning? Those are part of the Poppy suite of products, Susan. And they're called Peaceful Poppy sequins. And let me grab them. They're here someplace. Where did I throw them? Maybe they're not... I don't know what I did with them, but yeah, they're called Peaceful Poppy Sequins. Oh, here they are, right here. You can do a search in the online store and find them. Peaceful Poppy Sequins, great questions. Ah, oh, Tracy says, really nice cards tonight. Thank you so much. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be making for next week, except I can tell you that we're going to be using the vellum that's coming out in the new vellum paper. Let me grab that. Hang on, let me see if I can find it here. Uh, is that it? Nope. I know I've got it. It's close. Um, I showed it to you guys before. Here it is. Ooh la la. This is the new vellum, and it is embossed. And I'm going to be using that on a card. I had another card to make for you tonight, but I think I took up enough of your time. So I'll save it for next week, but we're going to be using that. And who knows what else we're going to be doing because I just can't work that far ahead. <laughs> um, if I join your team at $99, can I still get free celebration? Hang on. Items. Okay, so that's a really good question, Betty. You can when you put in your discount order. So when you order the discount shopper kit, you're going to get the guillotine little mini trimmer any stamp set of your choice and also this pack of paper as an add-on you get to choose now remember you're only paying $99 you get to choose $125 in any product that you want but it has to be orderable like or purchasable I guess in that $125 you get to choose anything you want you can't choose celebration items because they don't have a price tag so they don't work for that but once you've ordered your $125 worth of product, you get all these things for free, plus you are only paying $99, you can then place an order and get a 20% discount on your future orders. And then when your order hits $50, for every $50, you do qualify for celebration. So the cool thing about Stampin' Up! is we get all the benefits that our customers can get. Stampin' Up! doesn't say, well, now you're a demonstrator and you're getting a 20% discount, so now you don't qualify for these promotions anymore. You don't qualify for, for celebration because you're getting a 20% discount. Stampin' Up! doesn't operate that way. It is a plus plus to be a discount shopper and join my team because not only do you still get all the same promotions, we get more stuff, and we get a 20% discount on top of that. So that's a really good question, and I'm glad that you asked it. I see that Jenny's going to have to watch the replay. Now my phone is not scrolling, so I don't know. I'm missing all the good questions. All right. Um, I think we're done. I think that's it. Go enjoy your mama. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks, Debbie. That's so sweet of you. I am going to go enjoy my mama. And um, I think I might have a piece of homemade cake. Yeah. Oh, I want to share some pictures with you guys. I don't know if I'll do that tonight or not. But I'm going to share some pictures from the shower because mm, it was magical. It was just so, so pretty. I loved every minute of it. Okay, see you back here next Sunday, 7 p.m. Central Time, right here on my channel, March 8th. Be there or be square. Bye, you guys. Have a good, have a good week.